Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to another edition of Blue Ridge Silverhound. Uh, today, we're going to talk about mid-state grading copper scents. Whether it's a large scent or a small scent, uh, the grading companies like PCGS, NGC, and some other ones uh, grade copper on a scale of brown to red. I'm going to show you examples specifically highlighting those particular colors and uh, kind of uh, let everyone know that just because a copper coin is brown doesn't mean it's circulated okay there's a lot of criteria that go into determining what makes a brown coin one that's a half and half red brown and one that's a full red so the first example you see here is a uh, indian head scent 1890 this one is classified as a brown uncirculated mint state coin uh, there might be just a little hint of red in there, and there are full brown examples that look like regular circulated pocket change that could classify under this mid-state type color. Um, a full brown, you know, is worth a little bit less than the next type, which is a red brown. And uh, the next coin that you see before you is a red brown Indian head set. As you can see, I'm showing you all Indian head scents for the sake of continuity in this particular grading session. Uh, the red-brown, it would be a 50-50 split. As you can see, the fields and right where the lettering is, you're going to get a lot of red. On the same token, you see a lot of the brown that's on the higher devices. Um, and, and this is all you know, part of the oxidation process. It, you, know, you would think that it's been touched only because the highest devices and points of the coin are brown. But in this particular case, this is a full mint state red-brown coin. And it would be designated as such by the grading companies as, for example, brown would be BN or BR. Uh, red-brown red brown would be RB, uh, right after the numerical grade. And uh, let's say, for example, this red-brown coin grades out at a 64 okay mint state 64 and then they would simply put an rb right after that numerical grade to designate that it is a red brown so uh red brown is worth a little bit more than brown but you know where all the money is is in that full red example and this next example right here is what i would say is a full red typically grading companies would love to see a uh, a coin exhibit 90 percent of its original red color like you see in this particular Indian head set. Now granted, you'll see a little bit of brown on the higher devices. Um, very rarely will that make a huge difference. Uh, they, they like to see about 90% redness in a coin before they could designate it as a full red coin. Now just think about it. A full red coin, as far as market value, holds a tremendous, tremendous premium depending on the date uh, of the coin, the type of coin it is, like your uh, your early large cents, uh, any one of the large cents, theoretically, of full red examples are worth many times more than one that's in brown or red brown, as far as your mint state grading goes. And um, the small cents, uh, you get you get up into the later years. I think more of the numerical grade drives the value, as it does the the actual color. Uh, Indian set head scents, full red, lots of money. Um, even the red browns are worth lots of money depending on that date. Um, once again, to the Lincoln Wheat Scents and Memorials. The earlier type material, the, the Wheat Scents, full red, definitely a bane for, for big money. Uh, whereas, if, let's say you get into the 60s and 70s, it's more of a numerical grade that drives the value. So even like a, uh, a mid-60s, later 60s, early 70s um, Lincoln scent uh, that we normally find out in pocket change, if a full red example comes up that grades a 69 or a 70, which is perfect, uh, you're talking, you know, a high or a low population type coin that could uh, uh, bring in many thousands of dollars. So that's all part of the grading process. Hopefully this will help you in uh, when you guys are coin roll hunting because a lot of us come across some of those really nice red Lincoln uh, memorial scents, you know, from the 60s and 70s that we, we typically aren't conscious to the fact that maybe a high graded specimen, you know, can get you a few hundred dollars or several thousand dollars. 
So I hope this uh, this video tutorial on the um, the the copper grading scale uh, helps out tremendously. And uh, you know you're collecting uh, desires, or if you're a coin roll hunter, because you know we're all still looking for silver. Of course, you know there are a few dedicated folks that do search uh, copper coins, uh, like myself. So um, you know just a little food for thought. Thanks again, guys, for watching. And you know what? I'll catch you guys later. Have a great weekend.